Now tonight, a number of morgue operators in the country are appealing to Kenyans who have reported their loved ones as missing to come and identify them as the number of unclaimed bodies have stretched their facilities. The Nairobi Metropolitan Services has issued a notice to Kenyans to collect 164 unclaimed bodies lying at the city mortuary within seven days, failure to which the bodies will be interred. This police land cruiser leaves the city mortuary minutes after dropping an unclaimed body at the facility. It is a routine at this facility that receives bodies of people who have died as a result of mob justice, accidents, arson, drowning, murder, shooting and suicide. However, the facility whose capacity is 192 is currently overstretched with 164 unclaimed bodies which have been lying there since November 2020. Out of the 164 bodies, 49 bodies were unclaimed between November to December 2020, while 115 bodies have been unclaimed between March to May 2021. Only 37 bodies have name tags, while 127 bodies remain unknown. Among the identified bodies which remain unclaimed are those of the late Julius Mutua, Silas Kiengo, Stephen Onyango, Ben Omoto, John Mwangi, Benjamin Mwihia, Mary Wamboi Minor, among others. Those in charge at the city mortuary attribute the high number of unclaimed bodies to negligence by police and unwilling family members. It is a situation replicated at the General Cargo Funeral Home in Thika with a capacity of 121 and now has 60 unclaimed bodies. The facility has now been forced to operate at a half capacity. In Bungoma, the county referral hospital morgue has 20 unclaimed bodies, yet it has a capacity to hold 24 bodies. The administration, however, says they have extra space when the facility is full. The problem is compounded by police officers who deliver bodies, capture fingerprints, but fail to liaise with the registrar of persons for easier identification for families searching for their missing kin.